Morning, ladies and gentlemen. We shall start right away. I am a little behind on time. Let's begin by singing the national anthem. Ugandans went to the polls. It was clear from the days that preceded the election that General Museveni and his military regime were headed for a resounding defeat. Mood across the country was clear. Ugandans were set for the new Uganda. Across the four regions of Uganda, the citizens were ready to vote Museveni and his regime of blood out. Knowing the embarrassing defeat that awaited him, Museveni went into overdrive started arresting thousands of our supporters without charge. 
Men and women were picked from their homes at night, their workplaces and others were picked along the roads. To date, thousands of Ugandans are languishing in prisons and dungeons simply for supporting me and the National Unity Platform. Many were taken to unknown detention centers, while others were taken to military courts and slapped with bogus charges before being dumped in Chitalia and other prisons across the country. Those who have been lucky to return alive have spoken of being subjected to unspeakable torture and brutality. It is now clear, ladies and gentlemen, and to the world, it is very clear that Museveni is much worse than Idi Amin, who he normally castigates. He maintains torture chambers, dark rooms, whose walls are painted with the blood of our people. From the testimonies of a few Ugandans who have come out of these dungeons alive, these torture chambers are located in Boya, in Kalangala, in Tebe, Chengera, Machinje, Masindi, Nakasongola, and many other places in Uganda. While in those torture chambers, some of our supporters have had their eyes blacked out, their fingernails blacked out, their limbs broken, and their manhoods shattered. Some of our female, some of our female supporters have actually been raped. I repeat, some of our female supporters have been raped. Advanced torture, advanced torture techniques are, are being practiced in Uganda by the Museveni dictatorship, including waterboarding and electrocution during interrogation. Almost all arrested citizens are immediately injected with substances whose long-term whose long effects on them are unknown yet. Some have taken long to regain their full conscience. All comrades who have been freed have reported that their captors tortured them while asking them why they support Bobby Wine, what Bobby Wine's plan B is, where Bobby Wine gets funds from, etc, etc. Some of these comrades are very emotionally and psychologically disturbed, having seen the atrocities committed by the security personnel here in Uganda, they are psychologically haunted. As the victims have narrated, ladies and gentlemen, most of these security operatives commit these unspeakable acts while covering their faces in dark masks. On the 18th and 19th of November last year, Museveni did the unthinkable. On his orders, more than 100 of our citizens in Uganda were shot and killed in cold blood. Majority of these were ordinary citizens going about their businesses. Many were shot by armed guns, not in police or military uniform. What Museveni responded? He came out, chest thumping, and congratulated his boys for the job well done. And up to date, nobody has been held accountable for these crimes against humanity. Just like in the murders of Yasin Kauma, Rita Nabu Kenya, Hassan Waliendo, Yasin Kauma, Frank Senteza, and many others. The regime silenced the families of the victims, and that was it. Fellow Ugandans and friends of Uganda, everyone knows that what we participated in was not a campaign, but a military operation. We were bonded left, right, and center. The seven years are to face the people who he has impoverished and oppressed and brought life for many years. He found campaigns, but we went but he went out, I mean, but he went on to send his uh, lieutenants, RDCs and ministers to all rallies like the old so. In our case, the COVID-19 pandemic was used as an excuse to clamp down on us. I survived three attempts on, attempts on my life, while my comrades that I was with survived even many more. Some of our friends that I mentioned, like Frank Senteza, did not survive. But although we recently released the names of 19 people who we, ver who we verified to have been murdered by the regime during our campaign, we know that many, many more lives have been lost. And we continue to look out for them and their relatives, and we shall be communicating with them well. 
all of you remember that many people, including the celebrated music producer Dan Magic and many other comrades, sustained grave injuries. Two weeks, the date of voting, my entire campaign team was arrested and subjected to all manner of torture and humiliation before being thrown into a jail where they are languishing up to the present day. Nobiati, Eddie Mutwe, Dan Magic, Bobby Young, Sheriff Nadja, and many others are languishing in Chitalia prison simply for being on my campaign team. A few days ago, I had the opportunity of visiting those that are in Chitalia government prison, and they spoke of how they were subjected to unimaginable humiliation and torture while at Kasaja Giwa military prison in Masaka. That was before they were transferred to Machine military prison and eventually Chitalia. They told me that before they were taken to Chitalia, they were taken through seven prisons. Seven. The election day itself was as absurd as the campaign. Scared to his skin, seven switched off the internet and ordered media houses not to cover or even declare results from the polling stations as they came in. The national election observers had already been thrown out of the country. Observers from the USA were denied accreditation. Neither the European Union or the Commonwealth observers were allowed to observe the election. Museveni knew clearly that if he had dared to invite them, he would uh, be exposed for who he really is, a shameless election thief. Several foreign journalists were deported from Uganda, while many others were denied accreditation a clear legal requirement. But even Ugandan journalists were required to have accreditation to cover elections, which of course the High Court ruled as illegal, only that the order came in after the election had been finished. Very conspicuous. With the state of affairs of 70, aided by Mr. Yabakam and the Electoral Commission and the military, had a field day. They rigged the election to unprecedented levels. This, like I've been saying, has been the most rigged election in the history of Uganda. One, how Museveni rigged the election. A reading of the election results shows that the Biabakama Commission rigged this election brainlessly. The reading was done in such an amateurish way that it does not require any sense of wisdom for anybody to understand it. A. Massive ballot stuffing. Firstly, in the most crude manner, General Museveni carried out so much ballot stuffing in very many districts across the country. The stuffing was mostly carried out by the military officers who were transported in military trucks from polling station to polling station, taking all the available ballot papers in favor of General Museveni. The affidavits to that effect were rejected by Mr. Owini Doro, but we have the evidence right here. B, the results not entirely entered. Results from various polling stations were omitted in the final declaration. In the final declaration, uh, without any justification, and yet they were duly filled and signed the Arab forms. We have them, they are present here. Examples are uh, Banda Primary School, um, Base Camp, Lower Market A to L, Base Camp, Lower Market M to Z, Kampungu Primary School, Township, Namandu Koyoyo, Namandu Koyoyo's home, Said in a primary school, A to K, Isalu Salu. Yeah, Isalu Salu, in brackets, K I T, Muge in Chevando, Vocational Training Training Center in Chevando, Progressive Primary School, N to Z, uh, Chidodo, A to J, Chikonjo, and very many others. The affidavits to that effect, ladies and gentlemen and all the evidence is present here with us now. See, the deliberate reduction of my results. In very many cases, 
results declared by the Electoral Commission indicate that I was given less votes than I actually got, while General Museveni was given many more votes than he actually attained in the respective in the respective DR forms. This irregularity was evident in hundreds of polling stations, including Kapureka compound, Guantaha 1, Otukoi Primary School, Opilitok A Primary School, Otukoi Township Primary School, Abinemi Mango Tree, Kachilo Primary School, Omodoi Primary School, Sangai PA Church PAG, um, <coughs> Kalachi Primary School, Ipene Primary School, Kakisim Catholic Church, Ogolai Primary School, Kalvario Catholic Church, Okungule Primary School, Kagaga Primary School, Elef East Church, Jerusalem Worship Center, and Weza Primary School, and very many others. Those who have been following the going zone will remember that last week the Electoral Commission exposed itself when they put up a DR form from where my results were deliberately changed reduced from 84 to 8 at Atian polling station in Navy District. That fake declaration form was posted by the Electoral Commission. But here with us today, we have the original DR form, and this outright theft is very clear, ladies and gentlemen. D, the deliberate increase in General Museveni's results. At over 1,700 polling stations, 1,700 polling stations, results from the Electoral Commission compared to the DR forms in our position indicate a deliberate intention to increase the results of Museveni unfairly in selected polling stations. Just to give examples, General Museveni's results were increased at Kera Primary School, at Wakaba Lower Petrol Station at Mirizaku 3, at Achutekum, at Chiriabulo Catholic Church, at Mahanga Primary School, at Mochomo Market Ground, at Chakutereka Catholic School, at Kawujan, Kawujani Primary School, and at Lango Cooperative Union Store. Conversely, results from the Electoral Commission compared to the DR forms in our position indicate deliberate effort to decrease my results unfairly in selected polling stations. For instance, in my tally was in, sorry. For instance, my tally was this was decreased in the declared election uh, electoral commission results for the following stations: in Visanje Primary School, in Anyang, in Chinami Playground, in Rwangunga Catholic Church, in Rock of Ages in Chitabo Pentecostal Church and in Usengere Primary School, A to M. D, where the indicated results exceed the registered voters. At very many polling stations, ladies and gentlemen, the number of votes indicated on the DR forms exceeded by far the total number of registered voters. This trend was widespread and to mention but a few, Mugula Primary School, a polling station, St. Jude polling station, and many others. F, 100% voter turner, as in all voters turned down and voted. To understand how Museveni lacks any sense of shame, he claimed that at 408 polling stations, 100% of the registered voters, including the dead, turned down. But at many others, their claim was that the voter turnout was between 95 and 99 percent. It is not only impractical to make such a claim, but it's also unsmart and unwise. We have evidence that some of the registered voters at those polling stations were long dead, and somehow Yavakama claimed that they resurrected and voted. I'll give a quick example. In Buyanja, at a village called Wawewa, that is in my home in Gomba, we have relatives that live there. 
we know that seven of some of our relatives actually did not show up to vote because four of them had run off because they were being hunted. One had been arrested and two women were heavily pregnant. They never showed up to vote. They are registered voters in that polling station. However, Mr. Biabakama claims that 100% of the registered voters turned up and voted. We have evidences here. We have death certificates of people that we know that had died long before the election. We have evidence that those of our family members and relatives did not actually vote. We have their affidavits, and those are the affidavits that the Chief Justice, Mr. Winnie Dolo, rejected to take. G, wrong results and mismatch between Electoral Commission and the actual declaration of result forms. In some cases, the results declared by the Electoral Commission were entirely wrong compared to the corresponding declaration forms. For instance, in the Budaka district at Nachibulu Old Court N to Z, declaration forms indicate that I scored 106 votes and Jeno Museveni 110 votes. But the Electoral Commission declared 127 for me and 137 for Jeno Museveni. The same error was recorded in Nyarudea uh, playground, in Kabila, in Katiti, and in Kalasa Secondary School. Um, it was declared also in front of Victoria's Primary School, playground A to M, in Tabongo Trading Center, in, in, Ruteruga, in Rutelugara playground, in Open Gate Trading Center, and Rubira Trading Center. It is therefore not clear where the Electoral Commission got the results they declared. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, a list of the polling stations with irregularities is attached here. We are going to share that uh, on the social media and we are going to give you copies, hard and soft. So knowing the kind of election fraud he had just committed, General Museveni quickly moved and put me under house arrest with hundreds of soldiers surrounding my home. And you all remember, this office, our head office, was surrounded. Having disabled our you bought up by switching off the internet, they knew we were still de determined to tally our results. So they immediately embarked on arresting and abducting our coordinators and other comrades, who we had sent to collect the declaration forms from the field. Gordon Agawa, Natumanya Andrew were abducted from Tinder, detained, and thousands of declaration forms were confiscated from them. Oyech Gerard and other comrades who had collected forms from Northern Uganda were picked up from their hotel room and taken to the safe house, all over, where the forms were taken from them before they were released. Kajimu Umar, who does stationary work for us and had thousands of DR forms to make copies from, was arrested from his workplace on NASA Road by heavily armed military personnel. Another comrade who was kidnapped in Wandegea on his way to the Secretariat bringing 600 phones and all were taken away from him. Other persons were attacked from the distant district on the orders of the other DC and the phones were taken away from them. In total, the phones which were confiscated and never returned by the security agencies are 700, 7,200 and 81. There are few forms which the Directorate of Intelligence returned when we wrote to them demanding for the forms. All other forms have up to now not been returned. But in spite of the regime's disparate efforts to deprive us of the authentic declaration forms, we were able to have at least 25,034 DR forms out of the total the 34, 684 from polling stations nationally. The DR forms which were stolen and are still in possession of the police and the military are 700, 7,000, 
281. I'll say that again for clarity. 7,281. The DR forms which we are not able to collect, which we were not able to collect from the field, were 2,396. This means that the total number of the DR forms we currently don't have in our possession are 9,677. 9, 9, For this, we rely on the Electoral Commission DR forms, even when we don't trust them. What do these DR forms say? That's a very important question. The DR forms prove that we won the election by 54.19%. I will say that again. The declaration forms that we were able to access in all different ways uh, indicate that we won the election by the by 54.19 percent, despite the massive ballot stuffing and other forms of rigging. We therefore want to inform the nation that we won the, the January 14th uh, presidential election. This power. 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 Thank you. And congratulations. Now, because we were not declared as winners, we decided to petition the Supreme Court the 2021 presidential election petition. On 1st February 2021, I filed in the Supreme Court of Uganda presidential election petition number one of 2021, Chakulani St. Robert versus Joey Seveni Kabuta, Kabuwa, and two others, challenging the purported election of Geno Museveni as the winner of the 2021 presidential election. My petition was premised on three grounds, namely, that there was no compliance with the relevant provisions of the law. The election was invalid on grounds that it was not conducted in accordance with the principles laid down in our Constitution and the Presidential Election Act of 2005 as amended, among other relevant laws, to the extent that, among others, one, the RDCs, as well as police and military officers systematically blocked me without lawful justification from holding any presidential consultation in any part of Uganda, including Wachiso, Guru, Lira, Jumani, Yumbe, Arua, and Zombo. And they did this despite officially notifying the Electoral Commission on the 3rd of December 2019 that I intended to conduct consultation and despite the same being approved on 9 December 2019. Two, in June 2020, the Electoral Commission arbitrarily and illegally decreed campaign guidelines on General Seveni's orders without consulting other stakeholders. These guidelines ultimately hindered a free and fair campaign as they were selectively imposed against my supporters and me to the benefit and advantage of General Museveni. The RDCs, as well as police officers and military officers, among other state actors, systematically blocked me from holding campaign meetings in over 60% of Uganda's districts and blocking me completely from even stepping foot in at least 30% of the districts. On 13th January 2021, Uganda Communications Commission ostensibly acting on the orders of the National Security Council, which General Museveni chaired, ordered the service providers to switch off access to the internet and later mobile money services shortly before, during and after the day of the election, thereby impeding a uh, free flow of information among the voters as well as frustrating efforts to facilitate my calling agents. 
the Electoral Commission acted without transparency when it announced and declared provisional results of the 2021 presidential election without declaration form from the relevant polling station and tally sheets from the relevant district returning officers, contrary to the law in a manner that cast doubt in the source and authenticity of the results. Final results later declared by the Electoral Commission were based on the tally, were based on tally sheets and DRA forms bearing dates reading 18 January 2021. Four days later than when they ought to have been conclusively prepared. At all material times while reading the provisional results, the National Tally Centre was swarmed by Museveni's SFC presidential guards who wore Electoral Commission t-shirts and caps to disguise themselves. And they stood next to Mr. Yabakama, the Electoral Commission chairperson, as he read the results. You all saw that. You even saw him stammer. B. General Museveni was not qualified to contest for the presidential office. I say that again. General Museveni was not qualified to contest for the presidential seat. Section 4. B of the Presidential Election Act of 2005 as amended disqualifies from the election for president a person holding or acting in an office the function of which involve a responsibility for in connection with the conduct of an election. At the time of this, of this nomination, General Seven was holding the offices of the head of state, of the head of government, Commander-in-Chief and Chairperson of the National Security Council, which offices are required by law to ensure the equal protection of presidential candidates as well as adequate provision of security at the presidential candidates' campaign meeting. As the nation witness, ladies and gentlemen, General Seven instead used these offices to perpetuate unmitigated and unhindered terror against me, my agents, the campaign team members, my supporters, before, during, and after the presidential campaign and presidential election. See, General Museveni and all his agents slash supporters on his orders and slash all with knowledge, with his knowledge and approval committed several illegal practices and other electoral offenses. RDCs, the resident district commissioners across Uganda, such as Darius Nandi, Nandinda of Kabare and, and Nakamiyahari of Ubirizi, as well as police, police and military officers led by General Museveni's SFC guards, destroyed my campaign posters and replaced them with those of General Museveni. In one video shot between 18th and 19th of November 2020, Armed security operatives can be seen chasing and later shooting down a man who was running while carrying my campaign banners. That young man died. Nobody has ever been held accountable for his murder. During the election period, General Museveni and all his agents, with this knowledge and approval, bribed several former supporters of mine or members of my party, including Jasper Evare and Gary Godwin, and so on, with money, with jobs, and with other gifts, including cars. And this was to influence him, to influence them to vote for him instead of voting for me. Also gave 300,000 to each of Uganda's 70,626 village local council committees for distribution in the villages right Order. This was done countrywide. That was massive scale private. On more than 80% of the days I conducted campaigns, including on the 13th, the 15th, the 18th, the 19th, and the 25th of November 2020, and on the 1st, and the 6th, and the 10th, the 11th, the 24th, the 27th and on the 30th of December 2020, military and police officers 
violently humiliated, maimed, inflicted grievous bodily harm and excruciating pain onto me, my campaign team, and my supporters. On several dates, particularly the 18th and 19th in November 2020, and on the 27th of November during the campaign period, police and military officers murdered more than 100 people suspected of supporting me. And members of my campaign team, such as Frank St. Cesar Calibara, who was deliberately knocked down and killed by a military trap. Shortly before and on voting day, police and military officers in several parts of the country arrested my agents, confiscated their appointment letters, facilitation and logistics, which frustrated my ability to efficiently monitor and supervise the election process. Probably you would have 100% of the DR forms here. This happened, for instance, on the 12th of January 2021, when my agent, Mr. Haman Ainebiona, was brutally arrested, and this was on camera, from Sun City Hotel in Lira, where he had gone to dis distribute appointment letters for my polling day, for my polling day agents, and uh, he was detained at Lira Police Station for several days. On 14th January, police in Opongi District beat and arrested my supervisor, Daula Atta, as he protested the electoral malpractices by General Sevenis agents. Unfortunately, on the 5th of February 2021, the Supreme Court blocked me from amending the petition to add the ground that General Seven was actually not qualified for election as president. And later, on the 15th of February 2021, they refused to receive around 200 affidavits containing critical evidence upon which we would have best to prove our case against General Seveni and his conspirators in the Supreme Court of Uganda. In both the cited instances, the Supreme Court acted as the facto respondent in the petition rather than the arbiter of justice, when it conveniently relies on technicalities to reject our evidence without any prior objection to the evidence by General Museveni and his co-respondents, and without first according me as the petitioner an opportunity to be heard, they did that. That was unfair. In one instance, the court's registrar went as far as swearing an affidavit opposing the evidence that we intended to file. In my opinion, the court demonstrated bias against me in several incidents. Sorry, in several incidents, such as when it blocked me from filing the petition on a Saturday that was started January 2021. But it allowed General Museveni to file his defense on a Saturday on 6 February 2021. Through its actions on the 5th and on the 15th of February 2021, when Chief Justice Alphonse Owini Dolo met and made material requests to General Museveni on the 5th, on the 10th, and on the 16th of February, as if to imply that the petition had already been determined in General Museveni's favor. And later during the court's uh, proceedings, that was on the uh, 19th of February 2021, Chief Justice Owini Doro scornfully implored me to apply Plan B if I, had the if I have no confidence in the court of law, among other incidents. According, according then, when it became evident that the Supreme Court was not handling the petition with the dictates of justice, equity, and impartiality, and fairness as required by the judicial code and, and, and uh, sorry, as uh, required by the judicial code of conduct and by the law, I was left with no option but to withdraw from the Supreme Court. Mr. Yabakama and these six commissioners had suffocated the voice of the people of Uganda, and here was uh, the Chief Justice Alfonso Wenyidoro also mocking the people of Uganda. All these individuals, ladies and gentlemen, all their offices in trust of the people of Uganda, 
because by law they're supposed to be serving the people of Uganda, by, but they decided to betray that uh, trust and uh, decided to work for the one that appointed them, that is General Seven. So, ladies and gentlemen, fellow Ugandans, today I am here to announce once again to all of you here and those watching us from afar that we are on our own. We have brought the case back to the court of the people and the people of Uganda must now sit and pass judgment in this matter. I will remind you that in 1980, that is 40 years ago, General Museveni took part in an election which he, he lost miserably. He was not the second, neither was he the third. He claimed that the election had been rigged and took our people to the bush to fight and reclaim the victory. Hundreds of our people died, mothers, fathers, uncles, grandfathers, grandmothers, etc. All these people died in pursuit for a better country, for the rule of law, for real democracy. But what has Museveni done? He has betrayed the blood of our people and done many times worse than the regime that he castigated for rigging the election. The Ugandans must now rise to the occasion and resist Museveni and this regime of blood. As we've been saying, our strategy is non-violent and lawful. I will say it again for clarity. Our strategy is non-violent and it is lawful. We shall not hold guns like Museveni did. Ours is going to be peaceful but very, very, very assertive. However, our philosophy also stands firm that people power is stronger than the people in power. Article 3 of our country's constitution empowers the citizens of Uganda to do all in their power to restore the constitutional order once it has been usurped, just like it has been done under the Museveni regime. So, ladies and gentlemen, that is our next course of action. That is the next phase of our struggle. I want to call upon all of you, ladies and gentlemen, fellow citizens, to rise up peacefully and unarmed. I say it again. I call upon you to rise up peacefully, unarmed, and demonstrate against a regime that has oppressed us. They've oppressed us, exploited us, and turned into slaves in our own country. This is a time when we must do this for ourselves, for our children, and for our children's children. I want to remind all of you that we have an opportunity to invoke Article 29 of the Constitution of Uganda, which unequivocally guarantees that the citizens of Uganda have the right to demonstrate peacefully and unarmed. I say it again. Article 29 of our Constitution empowers us to demonstrate peacefully and unarmed against any injustice. And that's exactly what we're calling you upon to do. I call upon all the citizens who feel oppressed, the women whose sons are missing, the Ugandans who voted and your results were shortchanged, all the oppressed Ugandans come out and peacefully demonstrate against that impunity. We invite you to march to your respectful, to your respective district offices and seek answers. Those who cannot march, demonstrate in your own way, as long as it is lawful and non-violent. I make this call to all Ugandans in the diaspora as well. I appreciate those of you that have already risen up in defense uh, of Uganda's democratic rights. I've seen quite a number of fellow Ugandans in the diaspora demonstrating peacefully. We can pick a leaf, ladies and gentlemen, and do the same right here at home. We are protesting, ladies and gentlemen, for clarity. We are protesting with four demands. Number one, as we indicated that we actually won the 2021 presidential election, Museveni declared himself president. We demand 
that he returns the victory of the people of Uganda. If he says that he indeed won this election, there must be audits. There must be an audit to this election. It must be overseen by an independent body. Election audits have been used in other countries, including Sierra Leone, uh, Haiti, and Afghanistan. In Sierra Leone, you remember it was in 2007, in Haiti it was in 2010, and in Afghanistan it was in 2009 and 2014, among others. Secondly, we demand that General Museveni immediately puts an end to the abduction and kidnap of our people who are taken away from the death. We demand that the security agencies return our people. We want those that have been abducted returned. Those that are, are being held in communicado, those that are being held in torture chambers and dungeons, we want them freed unconditionally. Those that they claim have uh, cases to answer, let them present them in competent courts. Those that are sick, we want them to take them to hospital. And those that they've murdered, we want their bodies so that we can afford them decent values. We want our people bring back our people. Number three. We demand that General Museveni releases all political prisoners with immediate effect. It is not a crime to support somebody. If it was a crime, there shouldn't have been presidential elections. But all of you remember that my entire campaign team was arrested and they are languishing in prison. Those are prisoners of conscience. We demand their immediate release. And finally, we are demanding that General Museveni immediately stops trying civilians in military courts. By law, civilians are not supposed to be tried in military courts. So we demand that those, our people who are not soldiers, are presented either in a civilian courts or are released with immediate effect. I thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for God and our country. People power. <laughs> Mwena mchukira, nga kumi nanya, mwezo kuru vile vile, kwa kena mkulonda. Na Uganda kuna wana, bali wa mazo kuchulika, mbaga na chuka chuka. Na ye, nga kumi mchukira, mwengu sebe ni lukutia, kwa ya ina, kwa ya jama hii, na Uganda, mbaga la, ya teka o guruku, uwe chikecha wa guru, mwari, kutuka noko la kampaini, mwari, kuta avantu wa fe, mwari, kutusiba, Nay, Gatuna Tilo Kuko Kuronda, the Quata campaign to me a pay in Nayana, Vajako, Internet, Neva, Teka, Kuba, Panama, Avano, the Mavalimisa, who reporting the Vari Kuba Kuronda, the Vagana, the Vanama Udi, Avaka, we will Kwanga, Kuja, who reporting the Vari Vijana Mass of Wanga Yamani, the Governor reporting the Vari Vijana Mass, but the Namala Visa, Edi, and see you Ebi on kabiri wewe tio, mai msebe ni yake na maso no kupa ukululu mungeli echa banga uko kana. Kubanga ya mani cha ya kuzi, mwangu uwe chalo, yala kila amaje ya polisi, eba wamba amakata ni eba sivi wana, eti ba kuma o, e office ya pe, e chini cha pe, chana shono internet, eba zibulu kula na amaje. Nari mugu siwe ukumara ina kumi na rumu Nenga mateka Gara kila jomote na wabano kwe mkunya Aina kutu kila mwote kaza mateka Mkoti ya kendo kunta Wabula ina kumunya doka Nena mkoti Nairat wapula Kwe tolule sawa Kulaba 
Ndala ngabazi wambie Era zetaina ni tuko isa Isi zama ambia makama Ni wangu bade zari mpuru Onevi lumila ninji Chira giwa unye Sinti la kuti graduation forms Zetu ina wano Tuakaluru wako waka wangu lida Kubitundu ana Kubitundu atano Kubina no kutundu tundu Kubina muinda Sekati wali wukupa Kuboli yao bandu wangu lide mchina ana No miso So no miso ngeyo Tubakunga Anayi banda banafe Mwena jemuli Kukusitu kama ikala kasemo Dembe nga mwa anja kwa wangu kwa fe So ngeyo kubili Wakalu kwe kalakasi, rupa ita mwena mwe kalakasi mwdembe Kamuwa anja, abantu wafe Abaseba wambibwa, kaba wambibwa mzidroni Ne mumoto kendara Kira chino chibate chikore wanga Wiragiru ya mwami mwseven Kwa wakala, ama je Polisi ne kutongo lepiku mwdembe Kwa mweo, abantu wafe Obawa na mu, obawa fu Abo, abalamu, abawa wambibwa Kati abambali miezi, abalala wiki, abalala naku, kwa kala bako meze wewo. Abacha ali abalamu, kwa kala baba tuwe ni mbagi rao. Bebaka mati baba inako, ni misango, baba lete mkoti, nizikiri zi wambateka. Abalwate, baba tuwe, bebaka tunukunyanga, abacha ali abalamu, baba tuwe, uwe janja ule kubanga bantu wa fe. Bebaka se, na inga temanda batu njiza kwa kala batu we mirambo ya fe, usoro bazi kama chikiwa, kwa kala bantu wa fe. Chaka lupa saba, uwe yomu banja bantu wa mwe. Uwe ba mama, abachala ba wambibu waka bantu wa we, abana beba tuteko bachita we neba nyawe, na wazade, aba wambibu waka bantu wa we, kwa kala ukuma saba, mtukiremu, wanga yemwe ansa. Nisonga, yoyo kusatu, kwa kala, Okubanja Aba siwe bona bona Aba siwa angatema ina musangu Kwa wula anga aba siwa Uruwe nsonga Uruwe niluzu vya we Prisoners of conscience Aba political prisoners Kwa natu wakala Kubanga si musangu Omutu kwa gilu omutu omu Narika omutu omu lala Mwena mjukira Ki campaign team ya peyo na yuna Ya wambibwa Ni baba kuata ni baba tulukunya Mungu Mkambi ya manche kasajia giruwa Nibaba kula kevi kolo vero vingi nyo Nibaba la Nibaba tuwala mkote ya manche Nibaba siba Kwa gala Baba tu dize Mbagira u Semba yu Kwa gala Mkumanja mwani mseveni Alikira u Kwa tama na Uganda Abatari wa na manche Nibaba tuwala mkote Keza manche Amanche kaka Uganda Kachite kamunye Nchi Abantu Abatari wa sirikari Nibaba ina kuboze sewa Mkote Za basirikari So Neso ngezo Kwa kalu pako ula mwenawa semu nebanya wana Uganda wana kwe Habari wana mwenye Uganda na habari kukwe tole nsiyo na Kusitukiremu, mutembe, kubanga chikilizi wa mateka Constitution nebawe tembe yu Mwekalaka se mutembe, kubanga wana chema lila Paulida dobozi ya bantu Mweba lenyo, mweba lilendala Kwa katika nsiyo People power 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 People power People power www.nup.uganda.org 
that's www.nupuganda.org. Uh, there are so many, we can't have them on Facebook or Twitter, so what, but uh, we can be able to upload them on our website. Of course, uh, Mr. Tibo Habura and um, his operatives are very notorious um, for trying to destabilize us. That's why they shut down the internet, social media, destabilize our youth on app. We hope that uh, they will not mess up with our website. Um, we want them to be able to tell what we are going to put up on our website. So we are hoping to will not come out our website as we upload all these DR4 for Ugandans to be able to see how the election did transpire. And uh, this is 4.19% we are saying, but even as a result of all the battle staffing and all the other challenges that did happen, this is what we have as this. That president was Wawa Gambia, uh, Twina <laughs> So, I DR for Muslim. It was because they were soft copy. It had to be in the Muslim website. Yeah, www.nupuganda.org. www.nupuganda.org. You can take a declaration of results from Mr. Fezino. Is it your Balaga? percent um, if you just saw the Facebook, but you have Banga, uh, you was a soft copy. That so be it. To my meeting, what would I never need? You know, what is that? Takaranya technology and what about what you have for internet? This could be done. I got a night down the valley. Who do we put So that's to be it. Website of it. What did you talk? Karanya, what about the night down the valley? You have a so the communication that um, he has made, we are going to make it available to the media for you to be able to watch and, and all of that. Thank you so much, everybody, for coming. We do have your soul. Good day. People power. Our power. Our power. People power. Our devil is the Philippi. I'm full of Philippi and the food. Abadewali na Filimbi, etu nji tuliku mbaso ni wanyao mwe wale, tuliku struggle page e, Struggle page eno, tugenda kubela upaka urunako uluse mbayo uh, Mwe wale, omweleza wa Ibrahim Kavuma, bane mwe wale Echili wo, Filimbi mazo fuyibwa, simu bubi Filimbi emaze okufuyibwa, nga chitegeza Babade, babade vangu nji, baba gambi Simu ni wanyao, nti just all of you, Karaka Samirembe. I think I should kill Zivwa. Awo, awo, Simo Bobi. Awo. Filipe Mazok Fui. Baba ne mwe bari, mwe bari kubera ko mwe bari biuna katsa wa ya kwebe redam. We need our victory, Simo Bobi. Zoro ano agambi video ni mazofu yibwa ne video zi ah video yenyonyinge etusumbwa 
video ye nyonyi nga yeta la wagulu kuchitete cha fetu jitadeo kupejo solo gina no jirava um, video zi ngo mkule mbeza gamba mbutemi ye munga mkule mbeza kugama ntino reason chi ezigendo kurete la chiveko wanga mbe uprising wapa ukwe kalakaso kuhoni rembe nti tu demandinga ba, ba political prisoners wa fe emu e yu kubiri awa victory agami ensonga nya nyinga zeze nkuru Osegera. Abantu baffe political political prisoners ababa yesoka eyoko biri uh, our victory 51 uh, 51 point i think 2% our 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 wetu yengeri jetu akuba mu 7 akaluru kati yesawa <laughs> mama nyabo nyabo abali yeyo mwenna obadde mugamba bikana ku mugamba fili bite wali kuva ku kubo just mere kwereleramu simu bubi mere kwereleramu tugen tutufana ka mere twebe eh hey. ya bana kasongola omulira mukutandike ka abena kasongola
the only thing which to Kora, but somebody ran Yavi Sawa, it is the right time. I know you need the car socket of a cocoa, it will have a plan each duck and two full. Then end of Yam, end of to Jimani, Omkurebezama, Kuberanga, you guarantee feeding the Amazoji for a collar to natural collar. Ari mu chivuga uweberemu kwa wa wacha gulani ya karudara chitegeza chi omuliro omuliro nga guachi wanji wanji Busy, 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 Kare, so get where they uh, 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 you, you can WhatsApp me for any update. Uh, ku numbers are zero uh, WhatsApp zero seven zero thirty one ninety three two nine four uh, ne zero seven eight one triple three six one nine for any information. 
imbanga siri online osoboroku kusobora okulaba embera yonna oyagala okuberanga e abantu bale mekuberanga tebava ku kubo <laughs> abantu bale mekuberanga tebava ku kubo tusobola okutekawo filimbi e e tusobola okutekawo embera twali kuva ku kubo Paluwa gambi, Ruero is on fire. Yes, bana bainda na we. Pita vitu, tuwa gama mugule mele, 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 muso ya fui duwada. For any update, wabunga agalo kweranga akolachi. Or you are helping these people kweranga tewava kukuho. You can WhatsApp me and we see. Ah, eh. Nisegera. Kare, eka njaka la kupare kereza, tulare chechi dako. Simu bubi, a number. Zigenda beira wo o sobolo kupe ranga sawa zidi meka kanzu wandi kebu wandi si o mo you WhatsApp me ne o o mo niam pitom WhatsApp inga because I will just block you. Pestegeira. Don't WhatsApp me for any issue wango limu niam pi. Eh then to eh to get to get na kwe beri ram it's our time. It is our time. Umnyam pito, umnyam pito. Don't WhatsApp me. Sagala, sagala. Yoga yeriwa. Umnyam pito. Don't WhatsApp. Kali. Kambere kerese. Eh.